आई एम पूजा पांडे त्रिपाठी फाउंडर ऑफ आरोग्य फिजियोथेरेपी एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अ वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक एंड दैट इज बेसिकली व्हाट यू शुड डू इन द स्टार्टिंग बेसिक फाइव स्टेप्स टू स्टार्ट द प्रोसेस ऑफ हीलिंग डायस्टिस रेक्टाइल um if you all don't know about diastasis recti and if you are a young mother you should definitely check out our link where we are talking about diastasis recti how to diagnose this how what all exercises we should do we have already made videos about that and you can look into it um play but before that don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like this video and share it because we want to spread this knowledge to as many young mother as possible because there have been many women who had been suffering with no clue about diastasis recti so if you are diagnosed with diastasis recti and you are an early mom then wait okay wait for at least 8 to 12 weeks and you just need to wait and see whether it heals by itself make sure that in this 3 weeks you don't strain yourself much and you just do the basic abdominal breathing diaphragmatic breathing chest expansion and the basic exercises okay once your 8 to 12 weeks are over these are the five six things which you can start doing so in market there are lot of abdominal binder belt which is available um we will post the link below down please have a look on it so you can buy one of those belt and you need to just wrap it around your abdomen area and wear it uh, or try to wear it almost throughout the day not required when you are sleeping and all but especially when you are carrying the baby or when you have to stand for a longer period of time or it will make sure that you don't develop hernia because of diastasis recti so it will make sure that it holds your abdomen properly so try to use it as much as possible especially till it heals so first take the consent of your gynecologist or obstetrics whoever was involved and once they say okay you start wearing the abdominal belt that's our first advice the second thing which young mothers struggle is to pass the stool many women feel constipated many women feel bloated because of diastasis recti so one very important strain one very important thing is why doing potty don't strain yourself okay this will actually aggravate diastasis recti because it will increase the abdominal pressure so one thing is when you are sitting for the potty breathe and relax okay the second thing which you can use is a stool so the link of the stool also we will post and you can keep your legs here instead of coming forward go back relax your shoulder relax your abdominal muscles and just sit very relaxed automatically sit for some time and don't put pressure don't be in that urgency to pass the stool just sit for some time and it will come okay so start using the stool brace yourself up okay brace yourself up don't drop your body brace yourself up and then use the stool. very important point is that when you have diastasis recti especially um when you have just been an early mother you have to completely avoid over extension and uh, the second thing is heavy lifting okay now i understand that as a mother you have to lift your baby uh, which goes on from 3 kg to almost 10 kg in a year time but let me show you how to lift the baby but try to avoid lifting heavy weight sudden turns twist sudden turns those you avoid now let me show you how to lift a baby if you bend forward and try to hold it may lead to back pain so don't hold the baby like that try to sit use your spine and core to lift the baby up in that case your spine is supported and it is much better another point is the posture while feeding so if you are going to the baby your back is half bent so try to bring the baby towards you you can apply the pillow and sit comfortably and bring the baby 
towards your breast that way your posture will be much better so we have to try not to sit on sofa which is not at all firm you sink in the sofa so you end up actually overextending which i am telling you not to do or flexing yourself which actually increases the abdominal pressure so try to sit in a proper firm chair how do you sit you have to take your buttocks all the way back on the chair so your buttocks should be touching the back your back is completely straight shoulders straight chest up okay and your foot is completely resting on the ground for example if your foot is not able to touch the ground then you can use a foot rest so that your foot feet is completely relaxed that way there will be no abdominal pressure now lot of times you especially mothers feeding and all they may come forward so you have to go back always remember this will not come forward any time it is coming forward always remember to take it back that's why it is very important that the chair has the back rest now if you feel very uncomfortable sitting straight or the curvature lot of women during pregnancy has increased lumbar curvature what is lumbar curvature this curvature which is basically increased okay and you feel that you are very uncomfortable sitting like this take a small pillow and keep it right between the mid and the lower back and this should help you out okay so if you feel uncomfortable that way then use a small pillow now this is about sitting what you should do while standing okay how you should stand so let me show you now when you are standing most of the early mothers have the tendency to stand like this okay which is basically still the pregnancy pose or carry the baby like this okay both the position is completely incorrect what you should do is first you involve your pelvic so this is increased pelvic curvature first you neutralize it so tuck your pelvis see there is a very slight movement tuck your pelvis in as you tuck your pelvis the abdominal muscles are automatically activated okay so i just tuck my pelvis in neutralize my spine and then i stand okay you can stand with feet together or feet apart if you are standing with feet apart make sure you don't stand like this like this okay make sure you stand straight with equal weight on both the foot so either feet together or feet apart if you feel restless lot of women have cramps in their calf or stuff like that in that case you can use a small stool where you can keep your leg up and stand like this and alternate between them especially while cooking or something you can alternate that will relieve the abdominal pressure always remember don't allow your shoulder to drop so shoulder back but no increase curvature pelvic involved core involved one straight line okay very important if you have diastasis recti these are very small tiny uh, advices but really helpful always remember once your gynecologist says yes you have to start doing your breathing exercises your diastasis exercise a diastasis recti healing exercises the link is given below please share it with all the early moms or the pregnant moms so that the awareness spread and don't uh, forget to like share and subscribe to our channel and witness your fitness with us